Good evening or good morning, whatever you want to call it. It's 1.55 a.m., bright and early. I'm going to go to sleep soon, but I can't sleep for some reason, so I'm going to make a video on privacy slash security because nobody else does stuff like this except me. So if you're ever looking around the internet and you're just like, hey, I'm going to try to make my Chrome browser a bit more secure, we're going to create a folder. It's going to be called Casino Gambling Addiction, LOL JK. So if I reload this and I bookmark this and I see that I've got this, let's say that I go ahead and now at this time hold control shift and tap delete. So that way I can clear all my browsing history and then close out my settings. Let's open up a new incognito tab with control shift and N as in Niagara. Let's go ahead and go to google.com. And now that we're at google.com, click in here, see nothing pops open. That's good. We have no search history because we're not signed in Google and it's not having our, our history. That's good. But you'll notice that if you do control L to select your Omni box up top and you start typing casino, boom, it's already got that up there, right? So you can see that it auto populates whatever is inside of your bookmarks. If you don't want that, simple option is to right click, go to bookmark manager at the top right, there is export bookmarks. Go ahead and click this, save your bookmarks file somewhere. You can always import them back at a later time. Keep in mind, you can then go ahead and delete whatever bookmarks you want individually, or you can select entire folders or select items over here and just start smashing away at the delete key and delete any other stuff that is in here, and you will be all set to go. Um, and what I mean by that is now if we go ahead and we start typing casino, you will notice it no longer populates. But if we go to casino.org and in just a second when it loads yes sir it loads if we uh, hold control and tap t and we start typing casino you'll notice that it's not got that in here okay that's awesome very cool so what we can do now is uh, go ahead and, and close that i'm going to go to casino.org in here and then once i load casino.org in here Let's go ahead and start typing casino.org. So now it's tracking that history and we have this, right? Um, it's, it's also open in a, another tab. So let's actually just go ahead and close out of this and let's go ahead and type in casino. Boom. So there you go. Um, what we can do to harden our Google Chrome browser is uh, we can use something called Windscribe. So I have the Windscribe desktop client going through Germany, and then I have the, uh, the uh, add-on for Chrome. The, this extension for Chrome is routing me through Canada, while the Windows um, desktop client is routing me through Germany. So we've got Germany at the OS, and then we've got Canada at the browser. That's just kind of... Uh, that's what they call double hop. So that's uh, we're double hopping to this website, which is cool. It puts two layers between us and our real IP address. <clears throat> I like that. Um, load times can be slightly slower depending on the website and the content, but it's not that bad. Um, I can, for example, go to ciphers.pw and load it just fine. You'll notice it, it may take a little bit longer than usual, but that's because I'm double hopping. So what I could do if I wanted to, uh, you'll see if I click on this, for example, it's going to load just a tad bit slow, right? But at any time, I can go ahead and click up here, and I can disable that. Now I'm only hopping through Germany. And let's see if that loads any faster for us, right? So it's not incredibly faster, but you'll see that there is some reduced latency. So anyway, I like to, uh, I like to have that increased anonymity. So... We'll just kind of keep that going how it is. Uh, in, in the end, the load times don't really kill me. Like, they're not going to scare me away from the website. And once things cache, things load actually a lot faster. So as long as you start getting things cached and you're not refreshing each and every single thing every time, uh, load times kind of pick up. Uh, keep in mind, though, that we can... Um, make this Winscribe extension work in the incognito version by right-clicking in the normal browser the uh, extension and then scrolling down to enable 
enable this extension within the incognito mode. Um, in addition, we can go to settings for the Chrome browser. And if you notice under sync and Google services, I have pretty much just about everything unchecked, right? The only thing I have enabled is allow Chrome sign in. But other than that, I've got everything unchecked. Uh, there's also uh, privacy and security. We can go ahead and click site settings and notice cookies and site data. We can uh, check this here to clear cookies and site data when you quit Chrome. That's nice. It'll kind of blow things away when you quit Chrome. Um, for the appearance, I like to use um, my my own custom like load page and I also have this here. So for uh, the home button, when I click on the home button here, it's gonna pull me over to ciphers. Um, other than that, I would say for the most part, that's a, that's a great way to kind of increase your overall security. So uh, keep in mind that if I go to google.com here and I type anything inside the Google search bar or I click in there, it's gonna drop down my latest history. Now, I don't particularly like that. So that's where um, all this comes into play with the whole control shift delete and clearing all your history and then starting open a, a new Chrome uh, incognito tab, right? So now I can type anything up here. I can type, right? So it's not gonna pull up anything. Um, I mean, obviously I can do a Google search for this and there we go. So security research team, cyphers.pw, I click it and we're good. Um, Obviously, any advertisements are going to show up probably for Canada or Germany, depending on if this is on or off and vice versa. So let's say that I do like nearby restaurant, right? You're going to start seeing these are uh, Canadian. These are not. Um, I, I believe these are. I don't know. All, all I know for sure is that these are not anywhere near me. So that's all that matters. It's going to apply to ads and like maps, ETC. So that kind of hides you, gives you a little bit of a level of security. Anytime things pop up asking me for location, I click block. Um, so yeah, that's it. Hopefully this is helpful for anybody looking to increase their Chrome security when they're making videos or whatnot. Uh, you could obviously also make a new profile or whatever, but uh, in the end, I just like it to overall be more secure. It makes me happier. I just export my bookmarks out. If I ever need to import them in, I can. But personally, I prefer to just open my bookmarks files and just um, you know, just kind of sort through them, search through them that way. Uh, at the same time, too, I can just kind of open up all my bookmarks in, uh, in one search tab. And then I've got this search all tabs. This is pretty cool. Um, any, any tabs that are open, it will search through. So... Pretty cool, pretty awesome, I like it.